Hello everyone, this is Omega and I'm back. This is September of 2019 and I'm here to do the unboxing of the Witch's Moon box and um, let's get going. Ready, come on. Already up here, huh? Okay. I do have the August, I don't know if it was from Sugar Muses or The Witch's Moon, but I didn't do the August. I had surgery recently, so um, I kind of took some time off. I'm all better now. No worries. Here we go. Hey, Freddy. Oh, orange. It's usually something I would expect for October. But the witch's moon, here it is. On the top, your oracle card. And this is what mine says. Intuition. Intuition. If you're reading this, your third eye is opening, waking up. Your third eye is your mystical eye, seeing all from a loving perspective. Your physical eye see conditionally in duality and your spiritual eye sees unconditionally in oneness seen into places that your physical eyes cannot into the heart of all bring all three eyes together to see anything in a fully balanced view see into your own heart and see the beauty that is your essence see beyond the fear and limitations and open yourself to the possibility that all things are possible from this place you will find you will see a further deep higher and deeper that's a lot that's quite a mouthful yes your third eye is basically your pineal gland and located you know where you see you know where the third eye I'm sure you've guys seen illustrations or people that you know where the dot um, certain ethnicities so um, I'm gonna open up this and this is shadowed, ooh, shadowed land. And those of you that um, already have seen the box or don't feel like being surprised, you guys can pause that. Don't eat my hair. <laughs> don't eat my hair. What's wrong with you? And the second part of it. Sorry if my ring light is bright but it's, it's actually kind of dark in here oops so I even have candlelight and this obviously is a sigil for what I do not know um, since this is the shadow is it shadowed land okay oak king there's the oak king so these are smaller drawings than usual but that's fine you know what, I'm gonna move this ring light back a little. It's so bright. It's so bright, maybe I should turn it down. Because it's everything's shining. Turn it off? No, that won't do. I'll just turn down the intensity. Okay, maybe that's a little better. Still shine there. There we go. So those are Holly King and Oak King. Both good looking men. Okay. And there we go. First thing I'm going to do is get to the herbs and this looks like a muslin bag so we must have um, some tea in here which it looks like we do um, harvest sunset and I'll go through the ingredients and everything um, and this is red clover and this is orange peel you could um, save your own orange peel. I've done that before, where 
Hey, Freddie, I need somewhere to put this. You're on my lap. Okay, so I'll read about the herbs. Oh, first the Oak King Book of Shadows artwork. That was this dude right here. Um, Hand-drawn and decorated Book of Shadows page. Um, as stated within the wisdom that is portrayed, the Oak King is a personification of the waxing year, a time of renewal and regrowth. As the spirit of the sun, he represents the return of light and the victory over the somber winter. We're actually in the last half of the year, at least in the upper hemisphere. He inspires us to live fully and enjoy the gifts, great and small. Holly King, okay, maybe that's where the Holly King comes in. Um, the Evergreen Holly King is the personification of the waning year. As a divine spirit of transformation, he represents the natural cycles of change in the forms of darkness, death, and decay. Change is an integral component of new growth and personal improvement. The Holly King acts as a tutela. I'm gonna have to look this up. I'm usually pretty good at my vocabulary. Tutelary guide hmm. through the shadow lands of our own fears and despair. All right, so I guess this could probably, you know, this is both hemispheres basically because um, the southern hemisphere is, you know, we're in our fall. They're pro we're going towards fall. They're probably they're going towards spring. So that was interesting. Okay, it looks like we have some kind of rock or crystal here. I'm glad you're mellow today. Hmm. This is pretty big because it's hard to get out. Ooh, nice. That's substantial. Oh, the sigil is transformation sigil. Where did I put that? Where did I put that? Oh well, I'll get to it again. Um, da, 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 da. Honey calcite. A very grounded stone. Honey calcite brings an abundance of benefits to one's rituals and meditations. A stone of clarity and insight. Beautiful earthly stone is a great assistant while working on divination and shadow work rituals. As you sit with your grounded energy of the honey calcite, allow your focus to easily pinpoint the direction of your needed intentional settings. And there's an affirmation in there. I won't, I won't go into detail, but nice big chunk there. I like that. I like it a lot. Uh, the orange peel, since I'm here, uh, it's a wonderful divination and prosperity ingredient Orange pill has been used in many of our practices to help us in contacting our guides and opening up the roads of love and luck on our path. As you place the orange peel admits your love sachet mixtures, allow us energies and magnetic force to aid you in introducing self-loving energies into your healing transformations. Orange peel. And the red clover. The beauty that lies within the crop of the red clover bears much deeper wisdom and aid than its apparent. Known for its pain relieving attributes, this helpful herb is a great companion while working to unload hurtful and damaging energetic experiences. Mixed among tea blends and moho bags, or mojo as some people say, allow this emotional healer to accompany you on your travels through the upcoming reflective time of the year. Okay. Yeah, next. Here's the bag that it came in. And let me see if I can go through the obvious first. This looks like it might be the oil. I got scissors here, so I'm gonna have to struggle. Much faster than before. And the 
Green Man Magical Anointing Oil. The intention is inducing positive changes upon the wearer. The Green Man Magical Anointing Oil is a true tool to bring honesty and truth into your daily realm. Yada, yada, yada. Um, it been, it's, we have enchanted this magical oil with cedar and Lemurian quartz, clove oils, willow bark, oak bark, cedar wood. Um, yeah. Okay. Willow bark actually um, believe that was how they discovered aspirin. And I make, I've made tinctures from willow bark that um, you just take it and you put, um, get a mason jar and pour 80 to 100 proof alcohol over it and just let it marinate for a while, like six weeks. It smells minty but almost fruity. This is it right here. Okay. And this is a looks like an orange can. Is it orange? Yeah, it looks like it's an orange. Beeswax, of course, high quality. Um, silent Reflection Spell Candle. Tan rolled um, with the intention of providing a cleared state of consciousness while working to delve into the darkest side of your character and preconceived judgments of the world around you. This time to self is truly sacred and must be acted upon as such. Okay. I'll totally unwrap it. I've got the little, oh, cute. I've got a little wrapping on it too. Okay, what's next? Something looks big in here. Huh. I'm gonna go for, where's the salt? Sacred salt. I thought I saw that in the description. Okay, here's the sacred salt. I'm getting really excited about this. The renewal. Sacred salt. I guess on on the second page. As with many clearing and cleansing rituals, the act of washing or bathing ourselves is sacred practice. The intention in assisting you in your visualization process of washing away stagnant and unwanted energies from your aura. As you sit with the earthly ingredients of the sacred salt, allow your mind to get let go of all the thoughts and preconceived perspectives. Awesome. And this looks like some kind of a stand. Are we gonna get some kind of orb? I just can't forget that selenite orb that we got a couple months ago. That was so awesome. Yeah, it looks like some kind of stand or something you'd put a tea light in. Okay. Let's see if there's any incense in here. Yes. I always appreciate the incense. And it does kind of smells like clove a little bit. Um, want incense? You're here somewhere. Warmth of Seasons incense sticks. For shadow work. to comfort you, warmth and comfort to your surroundings and during times of meditation and shadow work as you allow the smoke to drift through your sacred aura or area. allows protective energy to communicate with your aura. Huh, it doesn't say what it's made out of though. But it kind of smells like clove and cinnamon. 
which I like a lot. Right, Freddie? You're being so mellow. You're being so good tonight. I really appreciate that. No, I didn't drug him. <laughs> Sometimes I want to, though. No, I wouldn't do that to you. All right, and is this a wand or is this a bell? What is this? Is it a candle snuffer? Snuff snuffer? Yeah. Nice. I have one already, but this is this is longer and bigger. Very nice. Can't have enough of these, right? And I have candles all over the damn place. And I'm really curious. These scissors are coming in handy. So, green man candle holder. Oh, this is nice. Look, it looks like a tree trunk. And here's I, the, the man's face here. I don't know if you can see that. That says no limb touching. Green man candle holder with glass insert. Oh, this is the, maybe this goes inside here. And then you put your tea light or votive in there. The deep and resonating meaning of the green man holds such prominence within our beliefs. The view of, I'm trying to, maybe I do need more light. I'm going to see if I can turn it up now that I don't have anything that's reflecting. Maybe that's, okay, that's better. The only thing that really was shining was the artwork. That was annoying. Okay. Um... It is so easy in the modern age to forget that nature is the true and beholden provider of life full of free flowing and guided energy as we pay homage to our roots, both physical and spiritual, we connect. We understand the true messages and teaching that this brings to our craft and truly resonate with the wisdom that it bears as each season passes among the many interpretations of the green man shifting and changing throughout each coming year we comply as with the natural cycle of life in the witch's calendar, we truly absorb the practice of birth, growth, death, renewal to become enlightened and step within our true light. We must follow these phases. It is clear that stagnation is a promoted state of existence in a land filled with distractions and energy filters. It is truly necessary to practice the rituals relating to each step of the natural wheel. This beautiful green man candle holder with glass insert was placed within the collection so that you may have a prominent symbol placed upon your altar or ritual space. This green man reminds us that we must always look within ourselves relating our experiences with the natural earth that surrounds us. And at the coming time of year, we celebrate the bounty that has been reaped from our phases of growth in abundance blessed by the guidance of ancient wisdom as we step into the thinning veil in divination practices. We take full advantage of the time we have been given to work towards, this is long, huge paragraph. You get it, green man. And it has the snuffer here, very nice. So I, I guess this is it for the witch's moon of September. Um, you know, it's very nice, but I, I, I don't know. Maybe I've been spoiled with the other Witch's Moon boxes. It just seemed that it's almost like a repeat of last month to me because we got something that looked like the Green Man, that sage thing, you know, the one that looked like, you know, the one I wanted to light on fire. Um, I don't know. So it's just... Um, I don't know, it just seemed like it was too close together. But this is very nice. 
you know, I can obviously find a place for this. So this is what we get. Um, the sigil, what was the sigil? We have created the sigil for the very intention of promoting a transformative lifestyle. As you meditate or recreate the sigil, allow the unconscious guidance of this energy to only push you towards change. Okay, so here's the sigil. This is what you get. I'm just gonna go through it very quickly. Uh, the Holly King for the winning year. Oak King for the waxing. So that makes sense. It's a younger dude for the first part of the year and then the old dude. I don't know which dude I like better. I think I like the young dude. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit too much on the beard for me. He's, he's cute. I don't know, maybe I'm somewhere in the middle. I don't know. Um, the honey calcite. And the herbs, um, red clover and orange peel. The spell candle. The oil, the anointing oil. The sacred salt. And the incense. And the tea. Oh, let me, what was the tea? Harvest Sunset. Inspired by the Sabbath of Maybon and the Coincide and Equinox. It's Harvest Sunset herbal tea within this collection. What's in it? Uh, was created with lemon peels, orange peels, and rose hips. And this is the muslin bag that comes with it. So that's the tea part of it. And of course you get your parchment page, paper, which has fallen down. Um, this is the incense. And this is the tea, or the tea light holder, candle holder with the snuffer. And I guess that's it. That's the Witch's Moon for September 2019. Thanks for you guys for joining me here tonight. Um, I really appreciate your your loyalty and subscribing to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I have Sugar Muses coming very soon, so uh, that will be my next my next unboxing. Oh, also your um, tarot card. Or oracle card excuse me so that's coming up um what else the witch's roots i know the the sugar muses one is coming because i got a notification and it's on its way so um probably within a few days i'll have that done and i will get in i apologize for the august um i think it was the Midnight Muses, that's what I think it is. And I, for, I, I just didn't have the energy to do it, And um, but I'll, I'll go ahead and it was actually really good. So um, anyways, I'm signing off, this is Omega, and I will see you next time. And hey, Freddie. <laughs> I will see you next time, thank you for being loyal, and I will see you in a few days, bye.